Hey guys, it's May May, and today I'm going to show you how to use my free SVG files that come with your stamp sets with your Scan and Cut. To me, the easy way, a way to keep them nice and easy and cataloged without having to use your computer to do that. Okay, so first off, you're going to need a USB. You ever seen a USB? It's one of these things. You know, they have that little piece. They don't always look like this. They're not always this stinking cute, but I found these online and bought some. Look, even the sewing machine is one. Are you kidding me? I linked them in the description. You can already go and get them because they're so cute, but you will need a USB and your computer to get started. Okay, so you're going to be downloading the SVG from your computer to the USB. So what you want to do is open your USB and on the side of your computer or in the back, you'll find the little USB drive port. You want to go ahead and plug that guy in and just leave him there. Okay, and now we're going to be sending all our files to this drive. So the first thing you want to do is you'll want to go to our website at memememadeit.com and where it says blog, you want to hover over the word blog until you see this menu item that says SVG files for stamps and projects. You're going to click on that. Now what you'll see here is a list of all of our stamp set titles and notice that they're red because they're clickable. So like for example, if you owned a door hem, you would click on a door hem and notice that these are just lines that come up. That's okay, that's what an SVG is. It is a scalable vector graphic, which means you can blow this up to any size and it won't pixelate, but we do it this way so it's exactly right for your stamp sets. So the way to save it is to right click on this image and say save as. Now when you do, you're going to you're going to be asked by your computer where do you want to save it. So notice here it's telling me the disk image. That's my USB drive that I plugged in, but I could tell it to save it somewhere else if I wanted to, but I'm going to save it to my little USB drive. So I will click save. And when I do that, I know that is now on my USB drive. So let's go back and do it again. Let's get some more of them. So maybe you have the stamp set called All Aglow. You'll do that. You'll right click it, click save as and I'm going to tell this to go to that disk again and save it. One really cool thing that you'll see when we get to the scan and cut is that these are saving with the title already. So I'm just going to keep saving a few and you'll see that the title is already up there for you. It's saving to my USB drive and I click save. Now I have already, I should say Shannon has already gone through and saved all of these to a USB for me so we can head into uh, the craft room and I'll show what it looks like on the scan and cut. So this is my Scan and Cut DX, and you also have the same option on your CM350 or your older models. You'll see on the side of your Scan and Cut, you have these ports. This is your USB port. So you wanna take that thumb drive or USB drive that you did, that you've already loaded your images on, and just plug that in just like that. Okay, so you have loaded all the SVG files onto your USB drive or your little thumb drive and you brought it to your machine and plugged it in. Now you're like, where do I get that data? Well, it is data, so we're gonna retrieve data. So I'm gonna go right down here and tap retrieve data. I'm using my pen as a stylus today so I can keep my hand out of the screen, but normally I'll be using my shorter stylus. Now notice here there are four different options for retrieving data. You can retrieve data from your machine, from your brother Scan and Cut Canvas, from your USB drive, or from your computer. Now, we've not saved information to our machine at this point. I will show you how to do that with an SVG file today in this video, and I will also tell you why it's not my favorite way. And I will not be messing with these today. We're gonna to go to the USB drive because that's what we're working with. So I'm gonna tap on that USB drive, and when I do, you will see that it pulls up all of my SVGs, and look, I can scroll through them. How amazing is this? Just scroll around, scroll around. I can go all the way to the bottom. I can go all the way to the top. And the best part, they are titled for me. Now, why is that important? If you have a stamp set, say you own one of the May May stamp sets and you know the name of it, say it is um, Happy Thoughts and you want to work with that stamp set, all you have to do is scroll through alphabetically until you find Happy Thoughts. Now, remember, I spent the time, oops, I missed it. <laughs> happy Thoughts right there. I spent the time to put all of those SVGs onto my thumb drive so it makes me it makes it easy for me to find them later, okay? Let's go back to the top. So once you found the SVG you want to work with, you just tap it and it's going to open up onto your canvas. Now this opens up a plethora of things we can do. Number one, we're going to say okay to this. This is the Adore Him SVG. These are the images we are looking for and we're going to say okay. 
type that again. And now you see them on your actual canvas. Now this is where you have some options. Notice how they're all kind of spread out on the screen or on your canvas. You probably don't want that. So let me show you some options you have for fixing that. One is you can tap on the image itself and move it around yourself, but this is super fast if this works for you. This first option is like paper saver option and it's gonna squeeze all the images in as close as it can so that it only takes up a little bit of the mat, a little bit of paper there. The second option is gonna take each image and turn one up and one down, one up and one down out of all your images. And that may save more paper for you that way. And this one is gonna take all the images and send them all facing up, okay? I kinda of like this guy, but honestly, I probably would just move them into place where I want them, if that makes sense. So let's say, okay. Now let's say you don't wanna cut every one of these images for this project. Maybe you're just looking to get um, this little guy right here, or maybe there's maybe you want all of those and not this one. Here's what you can do. You can tap on that image and you can go to edit and you can delete it and it will take it off the map for you. And what's cool about that is you're not deleting it from your USB drive. So when you go back to your USB drive, it's there. You're only deleting it from your map. Isn't that awesome? Super cool. All right, the other thing you can do is come to edit object. And here you have all these features you can do to all of these objects. We can get into those features in the future. If you'd like, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video like that. So let's say okay to this. All right, so now we have our SVG in and we could cut. I'm not yet, because I would move everything around the mat and get it just right, but we could cut. But let me show you why I don't like to save my SVGs to my machine. If you wanted to save an SVG directly to your machine using a USB drive, here's how you do it. You put the USB drive into your machine and you click retrieve data. This time, we're going to open the SVGs from our USB, choose the one we want to save, here it is, adore him, say okay, because that's the correct one, and we're going to save it. Where before I worked with it and manipulated the image, here I'm gonna save it. Let's say we wanna save it to our machine. So I'm gonna tap my scanning cup machine, and it's gonna give me the option of saving. Now, why I don't like saving to the scanning cup machine is because look what it does. It names it this number, all right? Let's say okay to that. When it names it that number, when I go back to get it, I'm just gonna go back to the home screen, we saved it in there. When I go to retrieve that data later, so I say, I've got my Adore Him stamp set out. I want to work with that SVG. I've saved it to my machine and I click retrieve data. Let me click it. Click retrieve data, get it from my machine. Now I have to know what the SVG looks like. And you can see I've filmed this video several times because I've redone it. But I'm not going to remember what the what the blob should look like. Does that make sense? Because SVGs are just outlines of my stamps. So I'm not gonna remember that. So what I would prefer to do, rather than have to remember what number or catalog this some way, because by the way, you can't change the name. I wish you could, but the only option we have is changing the thumbnail size. If I could change the name, it'd be all different, but you can't. If you know a way to change the name in the system, let me know, I've never found that. Okay, so I'm gonna X this out. So what I prefer to do is plug in my USB, go to retrieve data, go to my USB, and here everything's named for me. Isn't that better? It's so much better if you own a lot of stamp sets to be able to just find the name. And it doesn't have to be, you know, one USB for one brand. Like I have just mine on this USB, but you could put all the brands of your SVGs on there for any company that has SVGs for their stamp sets. So there you go. A quick walkthrough of how to get your SVGs to your brother's Scan and Cut or how I like to use my SVGs with my Scan and Cut. I think the USB drive is brilliant and it makes life easy. It's almost like a little file folder for your SVGs and when you plug it in, you can access them super easy. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what other topics you'd like me to cover. That's how I'm planning my videos, just by reading through your comments and seeing what you're looking for and I'll be happy to cover all those topics for you. Until next time, bye now.